still no baseball, but one player uh, is getting paid big today, even though he hasn't played a professional game in 18 years. Today is Bobby Bonilla Day, which means the former All-Star is getting paid over $1.19 million. Uh, let's break this down with not only a Met fan, but the heart and soul of Yahoo Finance, Reggie Wade. Reggie, good to see you this morning. Why, why is Bobby Bonilla still getting paid? He wasn't that good back in the day, and he would really not be good now if he was on the field. Yeah, you know, this deal, I think the Mets were banking on it was 99. So I think they were hoping that the Y2K bug was going to hit and mess up the world banking system and that they would never have to pay this money. But that didn't happen. And here we are over 20 years later and they're still paying them. Deferred payments are a thing in Major League Baseball and other sports. Teams are like, listen, we have money, but it's owed to this player and we want to invest it in the current team. And at the time, the Mets were looking to win a World Series. So they used the money to go after Mike Hampton who helped them get to the World Series in 2000. So they told Benilla, how about taking a deferred payment plan? We'll take this almost $6 million that we owe you, and we'll spread it out over 25 years. So every July 1st, he gets $1.19 million. And it's the sweetest retirement deal I think I've ever heard of. <laughs> yeah, how much is for sure? Reggie, do, do the Mets get financially hit because of this? No, this is a drop in the bucket for the Mets. The Mets payroll for 2020 would be $126 million. And we're going to play a 60-game season, so it's going to be even lower than that. So this is just a drop in the bucket for them. And it's funny because the Mets are actually paying Bobby Bonilla more to not play than they do Pete Alonso, their star player. Their best player is getting about $550,000 a year while Bobby Bonilla gets paid over a million dollars to sit at home. So that's like quintessential Mets. Yeah, all that money, Reggie, and the Mets still stink. Uh, what about the pay other players? Uh, no offense, Reggie, of course. I know you were in the Mets, no, no, no. but I'm a Yankee oh. fan here. Uh, any other players have a payment plan like this? Uh, a couple of players have payment plans like this. Bronson Arroyo still has a payment plan for the Reds. I believe it's $2 million still owed to him, and that'll get paid out by next year. Also, Joe Blanton, another former Met, but this time it's the Nationals that are on the hook for that one. Also, Rafael Soriano. And in basketball, it was actually Deron Williams' day yesterday. Deron Williams was getting paid about $5.5 million for the last five years by the Brooklyn Nets. So this is something that happens, unfortunately, a lot in sports. And it really doesn't help the teams, but it helps the players. Yeah, sure it does. All right, Reggie Wade, good to see you. We'll talk to you soon. Great to see you. Thank you. The New York Mets are paying this retired baseball player over a million dollars a year. But why? I will tell you that you're the first person he's talked to in a lot of years. July 1st is Bobby Bonilla Day. You won't see any fireworks, and you won't be getting a day off from work. Only one man celebrates Bobby Bonilla Day, and that man is Roberto Martin Antonio Bonilla. Because July 1st is his $1.19 million annual payday. Was Bobby Bone? I was born and raised a New Yorker, so I mean, obviously, I'm from the Bronx. I really couldn't tell you my uh, relationship with the Mets. After the 1999 Major League Baseball season, the not so amazing Mets were in the midst of reshaping their roster for a playoff run. The odd man out was Bobby Bow, a switch inning outfielder and third baseman who hit 160 in 60 games. The Mets released Bonilla after the season, but still owed him $5,900,000. I believe the one tumultuous year that I had was uh, probably the, uh, the 99 Mets. Yeah, 99, the one year I went back with the Mets. Probably the most difficult year. Still, I was, it was wonderful to be a big leaguer, and I, I, don't, I don't discount that. It was a tough year. In 99, Bonilla couldn't hit, couldn't find consistent playing time on the field, and couldn't stay out of fights with the New York press and the Mets management. It was a bad situation on both sides. So Bonilla's agent negotiated a deal that would go down as one of the greatest retirement plans in history. My name is Dennis Gilbert. I am the agent who negotiated Bobby Bonilla's contract. The general manager of the Mets needed to free up some money to sign some free agents. They needed to have the money now to pay the free agent and, and Bobby, who was very, very conservative, as long as we were getting a guaranteed interest rate, we did. We got a guaranteed 8% interest rate, made it work, and gave him income all the way through age 65. We started paying him in 2011. 
1.19 million a year. And because of his prior contract with his first stint with the Mets and the interest from that, Benilla's actual payout will be over 50 million. Bobby Benilla's contract, at least the one he did with the Mets, was over 50 million. We paid out over 50 million dollars. The Mets went along with the idea partially because owner Fred Wilpon was guaranteed 10 to 15 percent returns from the notorious Ponzi scheme run by Bernie Madoff. And so assuming the good times would keep rolling, Wilpon figured he could defer Benilla's salary to allocate money to other team needs. And by releasing Bobby Bow, the Mets freed up $6 million to get their 2000 NLCS MVP, Mike Hampton. I'm a big believer in deferred compensation, and we recommend that for attorneys, doctors, and everybody. Remember, it's not what you make or what you have, it's what you keep. And deferred compensation helps you keep your money. Nobody really knew about it until it came due. All of a yeah. sudden, people didn't realize that me and Dennis had put this away 15, 20 years ago. So it was, it was pretty funny that all of a sudden now it became this thing. And every time I look at Dennis, I say thank you. <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a better mentor of dad. I mean, my father passed away quite a few years ago, and I really look up to Dennis. Dennis really looked out for me. He really, he gives a shit, he cares. You know, he tried to put all of his clients in the right situation. It wasn't just me. And obviously that required putting some money away and doing some things. I'm sure, you know, some were receptive to it, to, to you know, doing things than others. But Dennis wholeheartedly, looked out for us. I will tell you that's you're the first person he's talked to in a lot of years. He wanted to play baseball, you know, and people wanted to get into some of his personal life stuff. A lot of pressure playing where you grew up. You know, he would feel it from his family and his friends that he grew up with, and he didn't want to disappoint anybody. I mean, this guy's got the biggest heart of anybody you ever want to meet. I'm serious. I mean, and the Mets saw that. That's why they wanted him so badly. Bobby is very special, very, very special kid. It's hard to deny Benia's heart and his once lethal bat. He suffered lows in his hometown, both on and off the field. But the New York native won three Silver Slugger awards, played in six All-Star games, and helped the one-time Florida Marlins win their first ever franchise World Series championship in 1997. His biggest victory, however, has to be investing in Gilbert, which paid off in the form of roughly $50 million during retirement. Other than my family, my business, my friends, baseball is a way of life for me. It's not a business or just a sport. It is my way of life. You know, I, I love the game. <laughs>